Hey yo, my name is Danny Cobalt, and welcome back to the boss game. We are here with Jack. We just completed uh, Cliff and Jenny's rooms, and that was awesome. I love the layers of fear room. That was awesome. Um, I've always looked loved looking at these. Grease them up, and they're like perfect mini skating areas. What are they? Cooking grills? Burgers. They're so. I could use a burger. Ah, they're cold. I really want food right now. Me too, Jack. I wonder what it'd, I'd taste like if I were deep <laughs> What? I always thought I'd taste like chicken. Or maybe something bosser. Like fried crocodile. <laughs> what if you were fried? wonder if I can lug this back to my apartment. I'll need a new cooker after what Undyne and Papyrus did to mine. Um, I wonder if I, what happened if I deep fried the burgers on the grill over there. Deep fried burgers sounds amazing. Totally worth the clogged arteries. Okay, am I supposed to be doing anything in here? I guess I could wash my hands, though I don't think they can get dirty inside my computer. Maybe. I guess I could wash my... same thing. Okay, trash bin. This smells suspect. I'm going to avoid it at all costs. If it's suspect, shouldn't you check it out? Oh no, not hello neighbor. So be awesome if it weren't painted if it were painted bright red or green. Not sure where I'd put it though, but I'd make room for a piece that cool. Mannequins! I don't like the look of this. The mannequins are congregate congregating. Okay, let's save. Awesome. Ooh, there's cake. The cake is a lie. The cake is a lie. Whoops. I don't like mannequins much, but the question remains. If I did have a mannequin in the house. How would I dress it? <laughs> probably the same as me, though, thinking about it, that would probably be creepy. Yeah, probably. Don't know what it is, but I ship it. Though, I should probably wait until the full game comes out. <laughs> is that... Is there more than one character in, like, just the player in the... Whatever, Mr. Wilson? Cake. Why, why can't I get the cake? Cake! I knew there'd be cake. <laughs> I knew... I knew that'd be a trap. <laughs> I still scream there. Any luck? No, I looked all over, at least as much as I could, and I didn't see anything even resembling a hydrospersion key or a computer of any kind. Me neither, and Jack should have been back by now. Well, we can all go look for him. I feel like we do that a lot. Okay, let's go. Um, I think the music box might have stopped playing. Oh no, we're trapped! No, I'm sure there's another way out. We just have to look around. Uh-oh. Those doors won't stay shut for long. We're at 3%. That's about 20 seconds before certain death. Then we'd better find a way out of here. Okay. Through the vent? We can go through the vents. Yes. Ha ha, nice. And they're already in the room. Ha ha ha. Can we go back out? No way we're going back there. Oh, I kind of wanted to get caught, but probably not a good idea to die right at the start. Now, we're, what's the game? Now we're like escapists again. Um, where was Jack? He was, I think all the rooms were down this way, right? There's the bathroom. Go away, flight. Um, more bathrooms. Sure, let's climb onto boxes and hope they don't notice us. Wait, really? Okay, you're being sarcastic. Good. Because I was like, I don't really think we should do that, Billy. Okay. Where was the kitchen? Down here? Oh, here's the kitchen. Hop! Okay. Jack was in here. Is there still a hole in the floor? Yep. Fooled by cake. Typical. Well, looks like the time has come for a leap of faith. If it means saving Jack, let's not waste any time. In we go! To adventure! Oh my gosh. Is this Final Station? Please, I like Final Station. It looks like a... Oh no! Cluster truck! I thought it was a train! It's transports! Uh oh. Maybe I shouldn't run. Well, whatever. Hey! Can I look down at this thing again? Nope. What does that symbol mean? Hey! What are you doing with our jack? 
How do I keep getting myself into this? Oh, hey, this is the scene from the start of the game. Hello, Jack. Did you miss us? Oh, balloons. I don't think he missed us. Clearly, we didn't make that much of an impact as we hoped. But that'll change momentarily. Who are you? What the Fahrenheit are you doing? Untie me! Also, what is he tied to on top? Is there a trolley rail on the top of the ceiling? Aw, quite a shame. We were hoping for a bit more enthusiasm. For what? Well, now you're just letting us down. You could at least pretend. Might be the thing that keeps you alive. At least we spared your life, unlike a certain skeleton. What? And he caused you tons of pain. Really, why be friendly with him and not us? I've heard of skeletons in the closet, but skeletons in the bathroom? That's just tacky. First off, that wasn't subtle. Second, who are you and why are you tormenting me? Do you really not care about your own community? Your own fan games? I see not much has changed in the last few years. Are they the two from the one fan game that he played where he gypped them? Or something? I don't remember. I can't remember them though. I can't remember. I can't ex You can't expect me to remember every game I've ever played. So, what you're saying is we didn't make an impact. Jack Septicai's Paradox. Yeah, that one. You know, that time we tested experimental potions on you? Oh, right. The Team no Rocket knockoffs. What? Hey! It's like we have to be mean in order for you to treat us nicely. Okay, okay, look. I'm nice. I'm smiling. Smiling is nice. I'm treating you nice. Let me go, please. Hmm. Hey! Oh, look at that. We've got visitors. Wow, you must hate us if you're willing to ally yourself with someone like Billy. So true. So sad. Let Jack down! Wow, your whole posse is so unpleasant, Jack. It's been two years and we don't even get a hello. Manners are clearly out of the question, out of the window. What will we do with you? Well, I have one idea. If you're thinking what I'm thinking, then this is going to be tons of fun. And what... Sorry, Jenny. And what are you thinking? What else? A second chance to prove yourself. Hmm. Technically, it's a third chance. I mean, Jack did fail twice the first time we met. Prove ourselves how? Simple. Game show. I have a bad feeling about this. Ladies and gentlemen, we have three lovely contestants here to try and redeem Jack's tarnished name. If they get all the answers correct, they'll get an amazing prize. But if they get even one wrong answer, to the lava you go, Jack boy. We can start with an easy one. Yeah, that sounds fair. And no comments from the peanut gallery. They're going to have to figure them out all on their own. Hopefully they've got a good memory, because if they don't, it's off you go into the nice pit of lava. Bye-bye. I hope these aren't too, like, far back, because I've been I've only been watching for a couple of years. So first question. What has Dear Jack here said is his favorite color? Red, right? Yeah. Wow, they're not as dumb as they look. Hey! Well, don't count on your victory just yet. Oh, yes. We have a wonderful little batch of questions all ready for you. So, Jax Myers Briggs type, according to the test, has what dominant Jungian function? What? <coughs> Extroverted, feeling, sensing, intuition, or thinking. I don't know. Intuition? Or thinking? Aww. Aww. Credit where credit is due. Yes, Jack did test as, in, as intuitive, didn't he? He did, but his dominant function was not in, isn't intuition. Bye, Jack. Oh, what? Oh, no. <laughs> I murdered Jack. Sorry, I don't know that question. Are they all the same questions? 
So, I wonder if they'll remember how badly we messed up. Can't hurt to growl for Jack's life. <laughs> Are we going right back or do I have to run around along the trucks again? Okay, I have to run. Oh, good, we're right here. Now, Jack, how about you find yourself a group of slightly more competent friends next time, hmm? What? You're back? And here we thought, after burning Jack alive once, you'd throw in the towel. I think your persistence deserves a reward. I think so, too. You deserve a fourth chance to prove yourselves. Please don't kill me again. Sorry. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep you alive a teensy bit longer. A fourth chance? And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, with these three rather sad excuses for contestants. So sad. Anyway, let's get on with the show. First question. Jack once en entered a taco-making contest that was judged by Ra Rachel Ray. Who was his partner? Oh my gosh. I know it wasn't Matt Pat. It wasn't Wade. And it wasn't Mark, because I think Mark made something different. Was it Pewds? Or maybe it was Wade. I'm pretty sure it wasn't Matt Pat, and I know it wasn't Mark. Was it Wade or Pewds? I don't know if- I can't remember if Wade was there! I'm just gonna have to guess for some of these. Nope! And I thought you might at least have tried to get the answer correct. Oh well, down you go, Jack. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What do you think, Jack? Think they'll come back? They lost pretty badly the last time. Imagine if they don't come back. Oh, we could have a lot of fun! Ahem! <clears throat> well, speak of the devil, they did come back. They're persistent, I'll give them that. Seems these contestants just won't quit, ladies and gentlemen, as much as we'd like them to. They're determined to rescue the fair Princess Jack. <laughs> Princess? So, we thought we'd start off real easy. Who is known for making some of the notoriously hardest levels in Mario Maker that Jack has played? Ah, uh, Ross. Yep. Ho-hum, you're right. Whatever. What is Jack Jacksepticeye's name? Oh my god. It's not here. What is Jack's... Oh, what is Jack Jacksepticeye's name? I thought it said, what is Jack Jacksepticeye's name? Sam. Yep, we're pretty much spoon food at feeding you these. Thanks, game. What? What is Jack's sign signature color? Yay, you've seen Jack's channel before. Big accomplishment. These questions are suspiciously easy. What is the correct version of this phrase? Speed is key. One more question, and it'll be the easiest one. There's one person here who's bound to know the answer. I don't like the way you said that. So, final question. Who does Billy have a crush on? Wait, what? Answer the question or Jack takes a plunge. Who does Billy have a crush on? Please tell me it's Fran. Nugget would be cute. Please. Oh, is it Frisco? Okay, please, please, please tell me it's Fran. No! Don't answer this! Aw, I guess it's a bit much for our poor friend Billy. For you, we'll change it. Who does Billy have a crush on? Oh, poor Billy! Oh, and she has a crush on him? I don't have a crush on anyone! Shut up! Billy and Fran? That's adorable! You know what? Just drop him! Nope, you got it right. You get to go free. Oh, Billy has a crush on Fran too! Oh, I want so much fan art! Well, this was more fun than I expected. Oh, yes, we learned quite a lot. <laughs> we'll be sure to say hi to Fran when you see her. You both suck. So rude. At least we let you live this time and gave you some easy questions. Really, we did you a favor. Well, you did just humiliate him. Even so, manners are important. Ah well, hopefully you remember us better this time around. 
you never know when you'll see us again. But we did promise a reward. How about this Hydrospersion key we've been carrying around? Oh my gosh, please. Fictitious computer parts are so out of style right now. We'll take it. Yay! Bye, guys! Don't drive over us! Don't drive over us! Don't drive over us! I can't move! Can I? Oh, jeez. Okay. Good! Good! Thought we were gonna be crushed. Alright! Can I talk to- I can't talk to myself. Okay. Oh, hello, building. <laughs> you came out of nowhere. Oh, we're back! Oh, look! Little Sam's all squirmy! Oh, Sam's got a little dragon belly! That's so cute! Those merchants made me really glad I've got Sans here instead of them. He's too lazy to try and kill me. <laughs> okay. So, uh, maybe I should talk to everyone again. If it's kind of the same gist, I'm not gonna read them all. Because I don't want to go through everything again. I see you brought an extra person. Yep! Hi, B. Hey, so... Technically, you took our advice and picked up some more limbs. We'll have to remember that you take things more literally than we intended. I decide I like four better than three. The more the merrier when Billy's part of the party. More is also better when you're being chased by zombies. You can just trip one and still have two left. Is that really what you think of us, B? I'd be lying if I said it didn't go through my mind. So, who would you kill first? I start with the loudest. So, in your party, the purple one would be the survivor. So, the person you'd work hardest to save of, of us four would be Angus. It's not personal. It's just self-preservation. You and Greg would attract the horde. <laughs> true, true, true. So, Angus, do you have any advice? Don't act like May and Greg when they're together. Okay, anything else? Don't die. You guys have a lot of confidence in us, don't you? I mean, it's in the best way possible. We could mi we would miss you here. Aww. I would prefer it if you didn't hug me. Wasn't going to. Thank you for respecting my personal boundaries. Aww. They're back! Too bad. <laughs> That's Angus' voice. Too bad. Guess we have to get rid of all these sticks. But they brought us extra limbs! On a person! We can poke them all with sticks! Aw, st ow, stop it! May, hi. Too bad you didn't get hit on the head by a flying golf ball going at a million miles an hour. Too bad you didn't get eaten by a velociraptor after getting your eye poked out by a lemur. Too bad the surgeon simulator didn't take your eyes out and put them back where your spleen is. Too bad you actually made it to the final station! I've got one! It's gonna be really good, okay? Ready? Too bad Cruella de Vil didn't see you and then send her henchmen after you to beat you over the head so she could make your skin into coats. Too far. Too bad Freddy didn't rip your head off. Too soon. <laughs> hey, Potato Man! Papers, please! Okay, Potato Man, just let me into my room. Very bold move, trying to enter your room with such confidence, but I still can't let you in. I think this might be revenge for all the times you denied him access into Glory Greatest Country. But he was always my favorite! Come back with passport, entry ticket, and vaccination records. Never thought this guy would be such a stickler for the rules. And before you go, take this. A potato? You need food for your journey. Okay, but... Potato? It is vitally important. Glory to Astatska. Guess we're not going to get a sufficient explanation. We got the potato. I only have one potato. You call me Potato Man, not Potatoes Man. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, let's check some things out. Alright, let's go up here. Oh, I can't talk to everyone. I'm going to talk to people I know I haven't talked to, which I think is the entire line. Oh... Hello. I love you! Oh, hi, Master Blook. How are you holding up? Okay, I guess. Been here for a while now. I love Master Blook so much. I love Undertale. Sorry to hear. He's not so bad. 
It's a little rough standing behind a couple, though. Feels kind of lonely. Aw, oh, I'm sorry. I'd give you a hug, but I'm afraid I phased right through you. Oh, you... You'd give me a hug if you could? Of course! I can't help but want to cheer you up. You always stood out to me as someone who could use affection. I... I can't believe you care about me like that. I'm taking Undine's advice and practicing to the hilt so that I'm cherishing you the best I can. Oh. Oh, no. Oh! I think you broke him, Jenny. No. I just like to lie down sometimes. You could join me. If you wanted. But you don't have to. I would love to, but I think I'm gonna stick with these guys for now. Yeah, someone has to be the mom friend. Oh, I understand. Well, if you wanted, I'll be here all day. Can I? Oh, I can't like deal with him. I want to. I want to see the universe. Okay, who are you? I'm trying to figure out who people are so I know who to talk to. Hi, Jack. How's Wireland so far? Oh, it's Riddle School. It's great. I mean, when things aren't out to kill me or imprison me forever, I love it. I'm so glad. I think Wireland's the best. Thanks so much for playing my game so I get to live here. Aw, you're welcome, Smiley. You and Phil were really cute together. I'm glad I finished off your series. I'm so glad you think so. Well, let me know if you need any help or any questions about Wireland and how it works, because I always like helping new people. I'll keep that in mind. Okay. Goo. It's hard to tell people from the back. Who are you? On second thought, I don't think I want to chat with this gentleman. You have something against other game characters, Jack? Billy, in case you haven't noticed, he's an infectious zombie. He's not letting that stop him from living a full life now, is he? A full undeath, more like. Okay, yeah, I can't talk to everyone in this line. Oh, yeah. Good to see you too, May. This is technically my house, so it kind of goes hand in hand with seeing me. Your house is very nice, but kind of looks like it's under attack. Hang in there, though. Your home is worth fighting for. Yes, it is. Feel like you're losing this one, though. Undyne and Papyrus are practically a destructive force of nature. Okay, up here I can see people a bit better. So, we still have Chloe and Max and Steve and Fritz. <coughs> oh my gosh, look at this Tem picture. Oh my gosh. That's so funny. Suppose it's true that art is subjective. And that's still there. Uh, Jack? It's best if you don't ask. Ooh, like a boss. Oh, it's Geodash. Cool. Heh, Jack, you were really bad at that game. Yes, I remember the insanity and rage well. Ooh, super hot! That's awesome! I love the shine to it. Super cool! This one's great! I wonder who painted it. Whoever did make me makes me look super hot. Uh-huh. Never heard that one before. See ya! Oh, look at the Sam. Oh, it's my Katie! Oh, this is a cute little Sam. I feel a strange connection with this picture. Yeah, as crudely drawn as it is, I feel like someone important might have drawn it. <laughs> I hope if this person ever makes a game, they'll find outside help for the art. <laughs> hey, Nugget! Hey, you Nugget! How you doing? Nugget is feeling marginally better than last time we saw each other. Well, that's good. What's making you feel better? This artwork. It is something to the it is fuging to not its soul. It makes his problem seem infinitesimal. Art will do that. The colors, they are mesmerizing. Nugget feels a sense of calm. Also, as it happens, Sam has a satisfactory large stock of nuggets. And he has already earned a nugget friendship and plus, it's really hard to talk with your tongue in your mouth. What can I say? The kid speaks to me. You would, Sam. No more talking. Nugget must restore his inner balance. Foo! Okay, wait. Max and Chloe are there. And Max and Chloe are there. Are they not? 
Oh, those are the other people. Oh my gosh! That's who it is! I'm so stupid, it's Alex and Jonas, not Max and Chloe. I'm playing Oxenfree right now, although I haven't uploaded it in a couple days. Uh, you do realize that we have lives outside our games. Uh, this is the same thing we said before, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. <coughs> well, I can't believe I mixed them up. Okay, so you guys are all the same. I'm not going to talk to you guys because I think you're all the exact same. Hey, Sans! I noticed you've done a bit more work in my bathroom. You might want to catch my MTTV tonight at, mo at 9. New show about interior decorating. Hey, Sans! You sure make a lot of friends in a short amount of time. Am I really your friend already? All my subscribers are my friends. At least, I like to think so. Guess I'm still chopped liver. Aw, Billy! Don't worry, we'll get you a little frambo of your own. I'm withholding judgment on you. Well, I'm still here and I've got a business to run. You wanna buy anything? Tempting, but I already bought most of this stuff already. It would just be repetitive. Repetition is the key to success, you know. Success for what in this case? In this case, me. I thought that was obvious. Can we look at the Freddy? What is he doing here? I'm selling him. Seriously? Of course. So I just he just kinda sits there. So hiring him's a no. So hiring him's a no. That's lazier than me. Kinda hard to beat you at being lazy. Hey, I get up and walk around at least. <laughs> okay. Let's go see how much to- Oh, hey Batman. Gotta talk to Batman. Batman! You don't say much, do you? In that outfit, I guess you have to protect your secret identity. So, uh, how exactly are you paying then? I have a credit card. <laughs> Did you guys just hear gunshots? Yeah, sounds like someone outside is screaming his head off. Wonder what his deal is. I didn't hear it, but now then I just heard a little squeal. Hello again, Jack. Hello again, Toriel. What brings you to this portion of the house? Can a man want to visit his own kitchen? Well, I do not see why not. However, I'm afraid that the kitchen is, is in a state not suitable for human eyes. Does that mean what I think it means? Yes. For the sake of your mental health, I'm forbidding you from stepping foot into this kitchen until further notice. Time to call my insurance, I guess. Aww. Aww, what did you do to my house, guys? Oh, hello. Are those... Who are you guys? Are you all me? I was gonna say that! But who's the red-haired dude? About fidgeting time you figure that out, you fizzing dimple. <laughs> is that Billy? Did this filtering computer just censor me? This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Billy, how'd you come back to life? Step away from the Billy! This is the best moment of my life. Jack, you're a lovely person, but I think one of you is more than enough. Yeah, I think I agree. Who are you? What the fizz are you doing talking to me? Jeez, you're a bit explosive. Of course I'm explosive! I'm being fabricating censored by your computer, all because of this little apple bag. I think I'm glad for the censors with this guy. What the fun did you just say to me? Yeah, he's kind of the reason Evie even installed it. She and Bobby didn't want me learning from him. Well, uh, nice to meet you, Jack the fu Jack to the future, Jack. Oh. Heavily autocorrected grumbles. <laughs> Listen, Jack, if you need my help, I'll help you in any way I can. The community already saved me once. I won't let them suffer in the computer if I can help it. I'm not sure they're suffering. Not exactly. In fact, it's probably more like being asleep, I'm assuming. Yes, but even so, they need to be free. And also... You're really lucky you're not my Billy. I'm getting much such warm welcomes from all your counterparts. We're always happy to support you, Jack. Weren't you called Sean in your game? Oh, yeah, well, we're right here supporting you, Sean. Thanks. Keep being a boss, Jack. 
Nah, my game's plot actually come came true. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm stuck in my computer, just like you were. Wait, does this mean you never escaped? I mean, technically I've always lived in your computer, so I escaped the computer within the computer. Here we go again! You are like, the coolest version of me. It's so awesome to be able to talk to you. I don't know, man. Nothing is cooler than the real thing. Although, you are a bit of a letdown. You and I know that Billy is the enemy. You saw what he did to all our friends in my game. Don't bring me into this. Your Billy was a psychopath. I didn't infect anyone. Still, I'd be careful if I were you, Jack. Keep a close eye on Billy. He might still prove his latent evilness. Already on it, man. Oh, I know. I like Billy now. Don't, don't judge him. So, we just ran into your game's merchants. Mind telling us what they're doing loose in cluster truck? If you think I can exert any amount of control over them, you've got another thing coming. Well, they did drop me into a pit of lava. They're out of my control, Jack, but if you're interested, I can try to talk to my own Billy about not bugging you. Wasn't he dead? Yes, that's why I can control him. It's easy to tell a corpse not to do something. <laughs> Ah, I remember you. The Snarky Jack. <laughs> Someone has to be. Snarky before green hair Jack. Chair. Hello, chair. Okay. We've been busy while you were gone. How so? We were teaching ourselves how to make baked Alaska. Why do they call a dessert you can set on fire baked Alaska? Why not baked Arizona? That's much hotter. Now we have a new project. Creating Baked Arizona! My kitchen may never recover. Oh, poor kitchen. Hey, so ceilings are really overrated. You should just ignore them whenever you see them. Subtle. So, how are you guys doing? Where have you been? Looks like all your limbs are intact, so couldn't have been too bad. Horror games? Plural. Wow, you're still alive? Barely. It was awesome! But I'm dying! It's a huge problem! Don't be ridiculous. You've seen horror movies. Nobody ever looks up. Do you not see Jack and his friends standing right there listening t to your entire conversation? Oh, wrong voice. Whatever you do, don't look up, Jack. Just don't. Why not? You'll die. And it'll be horrible. We wouldn't want that, would we, with Papyrus? We really really wouldn't want it to happen to our dear merciful friend here's the key Alphys. thank you i really hope finding it this time wasn't as bad as it was last time um well it depends on who you ask i take the first one again in a heartbeat see a and you brought a friend Alphys. uh yeah lost right now. Undyed and Papyrus are THE OTP! I've never met anyone who ships them other than myself! Me neither! Oh, I'm sorry. That's probably pretty rude to say in front of you two. Your computer is your story. Tell it whoever, however you want. But cool to know, that means Alphys and I have someone to double date with. Even if that someone includes another version of me. Oh, uh, yeah. That sounds like a fun date. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Get it back in the trash, Alphys. I never left. <laughs> I think it's kind of weird to pair up people you know in person, even if you've only just met them today. So, you're saying we sh you wouldn't go out with Fran Bo? Wh what? No! Shut up! I think I have a new OTP. Me too! <laughs> so, um, the next key. Well, you guys are doing great so far. We just need that one last hydrospersion key. You still can't get the firewall down? No. Seems to have mutated. Whoever this boss is did their homework. 
I can't do a thing to it. Well then, what sort of dangerous fields will we be facing this time? I can't tell. Whatever it is seems to have a looping signature to it. Other than that, I can't get a good read on it. Best to be prepared for anything it might throw your way. Look like, oh, uh, Layers of Fear wasn't looping enough, right? A looping signature? Seems to be a game that resets itself a lot. Oh, no, not Hell and Abra. We just did... No, please not Hell and Abra. I wonder what that could be. We won't know until we find out. Hopefully it doesn't reset itself because we all die at the same time. Well, thanks for all your help, Alphys. Now onward, team! Wait, no. Not team. Gang? Comrades? Posse! Oh! Or Posseptici! I like that. Okay, Posseptici, let's roll out! Hee hee hee. Wrong button. Alright. Alright. Let's save. Those merchants made me really glad. Uh, I already read that one. Alright, save. And we're going to head on to our next adventure. Alright, moving on. What game is our loopy game? This is the story of a man named oh, Stanley. My Stanley worked for a company in a big building gosh. where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee number 427 did. Wait, hold on a moment. Cut the music. You're not Stanley. Who the hell are you? Why are there four of you? When did I ever indicate that this was a multiplayer game? No, no, not here. Nice voice not acting. There. I love it. Specific... Oh, damn it. Fine. Very well. Who are you? Uh, I'm Jack. Jack. Jack! Oh, no, 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 I can't. I can't call you Jack. Jack's a rubbish name. Jack is not a hero's name. Jack is the name of a man who slaughters streetwalkers in 19th century London. Jack is the name of a financially challenged boy who disobeys his mother, climbs a beanstalk, and steals from a giant. Jack is not a hero. I mean, sometimes I go by Sean. Sean? Sean, Sean, I could live with a name like Sean, but Jack? I will find a more suitable name for the protagonist of this adventure. You are not Stanley. And I'm not saying you're not Stanley. I'm saying you are not Stanley. In parentheses. With a hyphen in between. It's very fancy. You look great on your business card. <laughs> ah, forget this. Let's just go through the stupid door. Can we look at things first? Ooh, you should climb into this one. Why? Because then you would be a jack-in-the-box. Seriously, can we leave him here? I love him. Aw, oh, come on. That was a good one. Even Jenny laughed. It was a pity laugh. Who keeps piles of boxes? Honestly. I like boxes. <laughs> can we go on the computer? It's a computer. Well spotted, Jack. And here, I thought it was a flamingo. Flamingo shirts! Actually, it's a veil. Imagine Echo 2300. Looks like they've got the latest biosensor hardware and everything. It's a good model. <laughs> Whoa, Jenny's got the smarts. Okay, I think I we'll was going to refer to you as Not Stanley and the Three Bears, but in the efforts <laughs> to avoid confusion, I think we shall rename you all. We have Not Stanley, Stanley Jr., Mariella, and you. Mm, I think you should be called Finn. You rather look like a fin to me. Stanley Jr. <laughs> Not a word. <laughs> Lots of chairs. Okay, I don't think there's anything in these. Do you smell anything coming out of this room? Or it's just me? It smells like Chinese food. It smells more like Vietnamese food to me. How can you tell the difference based on smell? Billy, that's racist! How is it racist? They have similar cuisine! I'm just messing with you. You're really making me question the decisions I've made in life. <laughs> Poor Billy. Is this another door? Nope, guess not. 
this a door? Nope, guess not. Anything out the windows? Nope, guess not. <laughs> okay. Okay, can't do anything to 4.30. Okay. Oh, these ones don't have numbers. It's locked. Why would they lock the door? I don't know, Cliff. Maybe because they don't want four total strangers walking in on them? That's an oddly specific motive. Jack, why? Just why? Because cookies are delicious. That just about sums it up. <laughs> They're really weird. Like content provider, like subscriber. <laughs> There's a little sign on the door. Looks like a legally binding contract. Weird. By entering this room, you agree to blah blah blah. Wait, what? Waive all rights to photographs taken of you in this room with or without your knowledge or permission. Oh, so it's basically like going to a convention. <laughs> Even the hippopotamus clause? What happens if PAX stays at PAX? I have got to go to some of those conventions. Me too. I really want to go next year. What does it mean the boss is nothing? The boss is everything. Hmm. Is this referring to the hacker on your computer or the boss of this company? What if it's the same person? What if it's a mob boss? What if he set the wire... Wyrish Mafia on you. I'm pretty sure there's no such thing as the Wyrish Mafia. Oh, there is, but it got banished to another computer. Which one? Laptop? Water cooler! I wonder what kind of gossip has been exchanged at this cooler. Well, Asgore and Toriel go get back together for a while, but they started fighting, so it might not. So I'm not sure if it'll last. And Potato Man has started a black market side business for half the- How do you know all this? I live here, duh. That's a stompies, lots of stompies. Okay, can we do anything in here? No. No. Is this... I keep thinking these are doors, but I don't think so. I think they're just crannies. Okay, let's go down here. What's down here? It's very quiet. A door! As doors go, this one is adorable! Why do you enjoy tormenting me so? Don't be so selfish, Billy. Anyone who's played Happy Wheels enjoys tormenting you. <laughs> too true, too true. Wait, these are weird windows. It's oddly... This door is made out of balsa wood. I could probably punch right through it. But it's locked for a reason, so I won't. What's your deal with locked doors? Well, in horror games, locked doors usually hide, well, horrors. Oh, yeah, because the Stanley Parable is one of the great horror games of our generation. <laughs> Sarcastic Billy for the win. It's eerily quiet in there. I guess whatever's in there is dormant. Why must you hurt me in this way? Because hurting you in other ways would cause your game to become unplayably corrupted. Come on, Billy, that's common knowledge. Read the Law of Death Permanence sometime. I told you all that! <laughs> Jack, I think you're raising his digital blood pressure. Good. His blood will splatter farther. <laughs> Aww. Hey, Jack, it's you! Why is it me? Because you're a dork. Okay, well, I'm not good at coming up with stuff on the fly. It's okay, Billy. In these sort of things, patience is key. Ah! Uh. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. Okay, I don't think. Oh. Okay. When now faced in the with game, possibly grandiose mind, decision tell which us. way to go. Not Stanley chose the red door on the left. Now here's the question. Can we come back? I think so because it said looping. So which way should we go? Red or blue? I feel like this is this is a test of our personalities. You know, come to think of it, even though I just went through a death-defying situation with all of you, I don't feel like I really know you all that well. Well, to be honest, we haven't really had any spare time to talk either. It's just kind of been from one thing to another. Hmm, we should change that. Well, first we should probably pick a door. I remember on Game Theory that 
Psychologically, the color red is associated with competition and action, whereas blue would be more associated with intuition and puzzles. So, we're either going to be shot to death or be destroyed in the game of chess. I think it has something more to do with personalities. You know what? Never mind. Wouldn't it make more sense for this to be about obeying versus disobeying since the narrator specifically told us to go through the red door? Wouldn't it be more of a challenge not to go through the red door? Maybe he should have told us to go through the blue. But it's so simple. All I have to do is divine from what I know of the narrator. Is he the sort of man who would put the bad ending behind the door he endorses or the door he doesn't? Oops. Now, a clever man would put the ending behind the door he doesn't endorse, because he would know that only a great fool would do what they were told by a disembodied narrator. This is text from the game, isn't it? I think I remember this kind of gist. We are not great fools, so we clearly cannot choose to go through the blue door. But he must have known we were not great fools. He would have counted on it, so we can clearly not choose the red door. So it's still 50-50 either way. I guess we could flip a coin. Let's just pick one at random. I like going through the blue door first. Hopefully we get another choice, but I like the blue door. Okay. Very quiet. And so Not Stanley arrived at the Not Meeting Room Employee Lounge, complete with ugly blue carpet and broken soda machine. It ate $2.50. I was just trying to get a Coke! <laughs> Sharon, how did you get a Coke? This machine was broken! What do you mean use a credit card? Not in this country, Sharon! <laughs> it's official. He's cracked. <laughs> Aw, poor narrator. Ain't nothing to do with the table. Ooh, coffee, 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 coffee. No, I want my coffee. Anyone here got a credit card? Ask Sharon. <laughs> nice one, Billy Boy. The employee lounge was immaculate in how boring it was. The subtle papers scattered in the corners really spoke to mankind's need to unload after a long work day. Ah, oh, I wish a long I could work day affixed with ugly carpeting and a broken soda machine. Not Stanley, please do something. I wish I could play Stanley Parable for the first time again, because even when I played it on the channel, I'd already watched it, so I never got to hear the dialogue for the first time. I'd love to be able to do that. Of course we're going to do something. We're going to keep walking. Whoops. Whoa. Hulk, he smokes. This is awesome. Not Stanley triumphantly blundered into his boss's office to find that no one was there. Now he could play with his boss's secret keypad but he'd never know that the combination was 7326. Oh, not Stanley. Boss's office looks really different than it did to the original game. Guess whoever was in here did last did some interior decorating. Yeah, it looks different than last time I was here, too. wonder if it merged with something. Like what? It kind of looks like your recording room. Yeah, it does. Oh, well, maybe it happened when the apartment came here. Maybe it did. Weird. I just had a thought, and I don't want to theorize unless it's true and I spoil it for anyone. Coffee, so how come, so how do you guys like yours? As tea, with a lot of creamer. I think it's more than 50% creamer. You can't legally call it coffee anymore. This is not a code, I'm... not Stanley. This is plain Scare. English. A, B, C's, one, two, threes. Seven, three, two, six. What are you doing? Then I guess I'm a coffee criminal. Okay, seven, three, two, six. I get it. Jeepers. Just look it. Hold your panties. Wonder if this one is being possessed by the boss. Okay, the boss is not a demon possessing your computer. Okay, but imagine Alphys as an exorcist. <laughs> Stop giving the internet ideas! 7326. You're welcome. Alpha's fan out out there. I've seen things, horrible things. Yes, I know. 7326. Whoopsies. 7326. No, wait, no, no. Give me a chance. Is there anyone wondering if there's something kind of weird going on? No, of course not. 
everyone gets sucked into the computer at least once. I missed that last sentence. I meant with the narrator. Well, he doesn't really sound like the narrator from my copy of the game. Mine either. Maybe it's an imposter. Okay, do we really need to start coming up with conspiracy theories? I'm just saying he's acting kind of weird. I guess I'm mostly concerned with why the boss's office looks so much like yours. Yeah, that is weird. I wonder if it has something to do with this boss guy who is preventing me from getting us all back. Oh. Oh, I got it! Maybe it's you! I'm pretty sure I'd remember sabotaging myself. No, no, hear me out. Okay, so maybe you're gonna end up in Oxenfree, right? And you'll bang your head and go evil and then go back in time to sabotage your past self. And we all just evaporate? Okay, okay, it's, but that's just a theory. A game theory! <laughs> Thanks for sharing. <laughs> okay. Apparently a water on a tiny little path. Oh, it's and finally, not Stanley found himself in a truly terrifying and chilling place. A cavernous chamber, filled to the brim with television monitors, upon which bearing the numbers of all of the employees, and not Stanley being one of them. Aren't we 427, right there in the very typical He was corner? shocked, not slightly embarrassed, but altogether the mysteries were beginning to build and compound to one satisfying and grandiose conclusion. Is that pronounced grandiose? I've always pronounced it grandois. But maybe that's just more of a French. I don't know. Anyways, why do we stop here? I don't know. Maybe to press buttons? Do you do everything without thinking it through first? No, I think a lot of things through. Very seriously. Like, naming you Billy. You didn't do that off. You did that off the cuff. And it was in... Outlast 1. I was trying to remember if it was Outlast or Amnesia, but no, it was Outlast 1. Aw, oh, Billy! Well, what else do you think we need to do in this room? Actually, maybe it was in a game before Outlast. I don't remember. Um, but I know that's one of the first ones he called everyone Billy. Well, what else do you think we need to do in this room? Actually, I think Jack might be right. Might as well press those buttons and see what happens. Okay. Left. And right. didn't seem to do very much. This looks a bit like a upside down crawl or a right side of cross actually. Employee not found. Oh my gosh. Employee number 404 not found. That's awesome. Uh, was I supposed to, where to next? Back to the elevator I guess. I think I saw a hidden button there that we might have activated. Who knows? Okay, back to the elevator. So is anyone hungry? No, not really. Exactly! It's so weird not to get hungry anymore. Is that why you've been talking about food the entire time? I don't think I haven't noticed. I was just trying to remember a time where I had the comforts of eating delicious food. Like cookies and cakes. Sounds like my kind of meal. Now I miss being hungry. Why did you have to bring it up, Cliff? I was happy not noticing. <laughs> okay, do I have to press this? Guess not. Okay, we can't go in there. Mind control facility. The mind uh -oh. control facility was too horrible for not Stanley to comprehend. Had he really been controlled this entire time? All his thoughts, his actions? Okay, that's the end. I thought that there was going to be more to that. Now, is there actually a puzzle in here? No, these buttons don't push. That made me so mad in Stanley. I was trying to figure out this whole stupid thing, and it wasn't even part of it. Okay. Mind control idling, awaiting input. Sis, mind control off. And he did it. Somehow, against all possible odds and expectations, not Stanley had freed everyone. It was a joyous, exuberant, 
classical example of a hero done well. Everyone would be free. No one would be told what to do, or what to think, or where to go. No one would have to pretend to be a narrator after being fired unfairly for something they didn't even do. And our hero, not Stanley, bravely and proudly basking in the glow of whatever he did that freed everyone. Well, he knew where he was going. He was off on another bright adventure. What new mysteries of joy and wonder would await him beyond that glowing door? Had a blind here. No, no, come on. That was a beautiful story. I don't want to have to do it again for not Stanley, who won't appreciate it. Why can't I get someone who appreciates my stories? Now we have to do it all over again. And it won't even be the same story because you're just going to pick something else. Oh, what will the narrator say? It'll be so angry now. Let's go in the other door. Let's push something else. Let's lock ourselves in the closet. What will he say? What will he do? (laughs) Jeepers, someone's having a temper tantrum. Curious as to what happened... Not Stanley left his office. Oh no. Do try to contain all that excitement. Full thunder. Oh. You really have to go through all of it again? Okay, well, I guess we can skip a bunch of the uh, looking around stuff. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Stanley Parable, but it does get very repetitive. Not okay. Stanley and his co-workers. Wait a minute, no, this really can't be right. Doors are closed. I mean, Oops, I know sorry. we're going off the cuff as it is, what with the renewed stage after the freedom ending, but we really cannot go anywhere if those doors aren't open. I'm going to have to look into this. Hold on. Oh, good. More test subjects. Gladys! Sorry, microphone, I am doing that way too much. Gladys! Who are you? No need to play dumb employee 207. They ought to know what you've been up to this entire time. But I'm the narrator! I love your voice. Whoever's doing GLaDOS, you have an awesome voice for it. That wasn't even a nice try. You don't sound anything like the narrator. More like a sound-alike who's auditioning for Saturday Night Live. Come on now, that was uncalled for. He's got a good voice too, I really like him as the narrator. But I really must thank you. You've brought me more test subjects, like I've asked for. So I suppose you're actually good at something. You might want to introduce yourself, though. Seeing as you're going to be working with them more, it's best for them to get to know the real you. I... Yeah, you you know what, she's right. I'm not actually the narrator. Surprise. Shocking, I know. And you're not actually getting out of here. (laughs) <laughs> cool. Glados and I have teamed up to find and test subjects for the future of Aperture Science. Who is he? Or the present. Seeing as we currently have no one to run through these tests, we're not too picky. Despite your obvious lack of intelligence, we are required to use what we have. So congratulations. You're all at the top of your group. By default. She really needs to work on her motivational speeches. Anyway, I don't think we should spend too long out here. While there is no discernible passage of time here in the digital world, we do need to get a move on. The average human lifespan is a pathetically short 70 years or so. Even shorter in Billy's case. (laughs) Well, I mean, he does respond, so I would think that actually it makes his lifespan a bit longer. Oh, I like her. She shows potential. Actual potential. Not the kind that leaves you high and dry, having been overrun by a wave of disappointment. That being the case, I have exactly the teams that we need. I love Portal so much, I'm in the middle of the second game right now. We only have two functional tests at the moment. But I see now how to divide you up perfectly. Wait a minute, hold on! (laughs) <laughs> it's the Stanley thingy, too. You Did you just separate us using a loading screen? Rude. I suppose we could record how long it takes you to go insane listening to this song. 
but that would be needlessly cruel. It would be more humane to throw you in the incinerator just outside the door. I've never tested anyone before. This should be fun. Okay, who are you? I've never seen an employee 207 in any of my games, as far as I can remember. You have seen me. But I guess you don't remember. Hey, you've killed me, though. Wait a minute, I killed you? Then what game are you from? <sighs> I guess it's kind of hard to remember someone who's just one in a crowd. Party mm -hmm. hard? All I was doing was partying innocently, and then you murdered me. Or at least, you did when you finally noticed me. Aww. Okay, I'm sorry about that. But, I mean, that is kind of the point of the game. Yeah, yeah it is. And yes, I know I'm supposed to die. It's a small roll, but it's something. And all I wanted was for my roll to go off without a hitch. But you almost didn't notice me in the tutorial level. It's a small roll that I wanted to do right, and you almost messed it up. So you're taking all this out on me because I almost didn't kill you? Well, not fulfilling your game role, or at least having a near-useless experience, was kind of a blow to me, you know? I ended up leaving my game to find one where I'd be more appreciated. That sounds like going turbo. Oops. Never, Never mind, I guess it doesn't matter. Not my mind. <laughs> Point is, I went to work for Aperture Science, met a man named Stanley, boring guy, Long story short, I got fired for something I didn't even do. But I managed to lure the narrator away with a cookie and took over his recording booth, <laughs> so there's that at least. Wait, you lured the narrator with a cookie? Never underestimate the power of baked goods around video game characters, Jack. <clears throat> yes, well, as exciting as all this exposition and reveal is, I'm sure you're going to want to get to the test. This room wasn't designed to last, you know. Really? Wait, what? Oh, I'm sorry. I suppose where you come from, most rooms are permanent. This particular room was designed to be disposable, left standing only for about 30 minutes after its creation. We at Aperture figured that with the amount of test subjects we were going through, sanitation was an issue. It was more cost-effective to create and destroy holding chambers when necessary, instead of sanitizing the old ones. Did I ever push buttons for that? Perhaps. Uh, so Stanley worked for Aperture? That's a really cool idea. Oh boy, that explains a lot. Anyway, seeing as this room was created about 29 minutes ago, <laughs> you should probably head through the portal. Okay. I'm just going to quickly save first. Welcome to the Friction Inhibition Gel Test, or the Fig Test, as some presumed clever scientists have called it. Let me guess, lots of fruit puns come out of that, right? Capaya Cube! That's too easy, those jokes are all low-hanging fruit. Capaya Cube! Cliff's <laughs> Medley, I will be sure to make a note in your file. Oh boy, what did I do wrong? Our joke's not allowed. Oh, you aren't in trouble. I was just going to note that you believed you were clever. It's honestly kind of charming whenever the test subjects assume that they have the necessary wit to complete the tests. But we'll see how well that wit serves you here. The cube you are pushing around is the Aperture Science Weighted Companion Cube. This cube has been coated with the complementary fig agent, hence why you two won't slide on the floor, and will accompany you on your journey through this puzzle, serving as your beloved and faithful companion. See to it that you do not break its fragile, cute heart. Aww. I wasn't planning to, but okay. No, Jack. You see, this is how they get you. She's trying to be emotionally manipulate. She's trying to emotionally manipulate you into believing that so you'll feel exactly the way she wants you to during the test. By the way, I should inform you that due to emotional complications, the Aperture Science Weighted Companion Cube cannot come in contact with the Glacier White Testing Surface Squares. It has also updated its online status. And it says that you are now officially its best friends. Yay! Don't let her manipulate you, Jack. I will be your beloved and faithful companion through the test. Platonically, my heart belongs to Tarion. Aw, your girlfriend? Well, that's kind of a strong word. She's a girl. She's my friend. I really like her. But she's not my girlfriend. Are you, like, 
admitting you like her through a game? Like, for real? I see. Well, maybe someday- Provided she hasn't overlooked him for another handsome specimen. Then again, I'm honestly surprised that anyone would find either of you two viable candidates for coupleship. Coupleship. I'm going to ignore that. Yep, just gonna ignore that. Okay, can we go? A reset? You well, just remember that in life, there are no such things as resets. We here at Aperture Science are a little more forgiving. Wait, okay. didn't we hear that the one employee got... We don't talk about Dave. He was a special case. Oh. Well, I'm going to head off and see how the others are doing. Hey, wait! And he's gone. I hope Jenny and Billy are alright. Okay, what does this sign say? Push the companion cube across, across the floor. It cannot come into contact with white spaces, but you may walk on them. Your goal is to get to the platform in front of the door. Why are you helping them? What's the point of testing if you're just going to help them? I do what I want, Brandon. Get lost. So I don't want to freak you out, but my brother Eric's girlfriend name is Adriana, and she's also a fan of yours. It's probably not her, Cliff, but we'll keep an eye out. Could I not? Oh, do I have to actually put the cube on the thing? Okay. Oh. Oh, I see what you do. Okay. Oh, wait, I can't- Oh, wait, no, I can't walk on this. Where are you going? Oh, jeez. I'm not good at these puzzles. Wait, where am I taking you to? Am I not taking you up there? How do I get you up there, though? Do I have to just get you in that slot? Hmm. This might take me a little while. Congratulations. There we go. It seems you defied the odds and completed this puzzle. Your audience of one was on the edge of his seat the entire time. Hmm? <laughs> What's that? Listen, you can even- Oh no, I was just running. Okay. Had to check up on the others since you're over here. He's delirious with happiness for you. Okay, now what? Push the button nearest the door, and you may leave. Though leaving comes at the price of sacrificing one of your party members. What? Say what? She means push the button and drop the cube into the incinerator. Oh. No. I would say that terseness and elegance were never so delicately woven together as in your statement just now. But they weren't. And it's not nice to lie. Hey. But he is right. In order to continue, you will need to sacrifice the Aperture Science Weighted Companion Cube. Done and done. Let's just... Cliff? After everything you've done for us, little cube, I'm going to really miss you. Please don't hold this against us. Cliff, you just said earlier this is her manipulating. How we feel- This is her manipulating how we feel. <laughs> oh, alright. Uh, you two really are morons, aren't you? <laughs> Call us what you like. Oh, I just like a petty cube. I like a petty cube. We still finished our puzzle. Your puzzle. Irrefutably so. Well then, proceed to the next room. I'll be with you shortly, seeing as the other team may be about to finish their puzzle. Okay. What happens after that? More testing. Try not to let the newness and excitement wear off just yet. It makes the years more bearable. Years... Uh-oh. Uh-oh! <laughs> oh, I love Portal. Oh, I'm tired. I've been recording, like, almost four hours of this today. But I like it. Yeah, it's finally here! That's how 
I started out the demo. <laughs> it was so cheesy. I'm not seeing a way out, and that's our first priority now. I know, but Jack and Cliff, I'm really worried about them. I am too, but you'd think they'd be a little more res they they'd be a little more resilient. I mean, do we have to go to find these two jokers? Really? And why do we keep getting separated? Are you really that disappointed to be stuck with me? Are you kidding? Out of everyone I could have been stuck with, it was you, the least annoying person. Thanks? In all honesty, it really is a relief. Ah, uh, you're awake. Time to do some testing, I suppose. Unless you would like to call out sick. I would not recommend this. However, in the event that you do forfeit on account of illness, we have a pharmaceutical test we are running. So far, the known side effects have included but are not limited to muscular pain and weakness, headache, loss of vision, loss of hearing, loss of vision and hearing, minor internal bleeding, major internal hemorrhaging, growth of a third nostril, palpitations, constipation, aneurysms, Oops. Ebola, swine flu, Ebola and swine flu, and in 43% of the cases, instantaneous yet painless death. Any volunteers? You got a good way with this girl. Whoever's doing the voice acting. I could name a handful of things on that list that I've experienced before. Poor Billy. Pass. Good. Then I think you'll like what I have in store for you just outside that portal. Why don't you take a look? Okay. Admittedly, oh, these turrets no. are older models. So they are only capable of sight in a straight line in front of them. They're kind of stupid that way. But with the cuts to funding, we've been digging through the old warehouses. At least the bullets are every bit as lethal. I <laughs> hope they never change. Lethal? Don't worry, I think player agency has us both covered here. Player agency? It'd take a while to explain it without the rulebook, just know that you're safe from ultimately dying. Hey. I have to go supervise the other test subjects. Their vitals indicate that they appear to be waking up and will need someone to conduct their side of the experiments. Employee 207 will be over shortly. He's such a... useful tool. <laughs> tool? That sounds ominous. Does it? I suppose I'm just happy to have so many test subjects again. It makes me feel... a little more pleasant inside. Anyway. I'll be back once you finish the test. A little more pleasant. I'd like to see a scale for that. <laughs> Did anything about that strike you as odd, Billy? All of it. I mean, it sounded like there were more test subjects than just us. You don't suppose she has other subscribers, do you? I don't think so. Aside from you and Cliff, I think everyone else who got uploaded was accounted for. Well, that's a relief. You must have amazing connections here in Wireland to know something like that. I don't know how you do it. How you all do it. Yeah, we're amazing like that. Let's just get these things turned off and get back to the others. Hello. Okay. Oh, it's the turrets. Oh, it's a maze. I thought I had to actually grab it. Hello, friend. Oh my gosh. Did I hit it? No, I, didn't think I, was... I did not think I was that close to it. Okay, smoke. Hello. Hello. I love your voices so much. Okay, we're going to have to be much careful. Much more careful. I don't slide on the gray, do I? There you oh. are. Oh. I jumped so far forward. Okay, okay. Kill me already. <laughs> I love that game over compilation. Hello. Okay, actually, I think I'm supposed to go back around. I was trying to go to the other turret, but I think if I do that, I'm gonna die. Uh, bush. I'm on fire. <laughs> Goodbye. Glados talking about more test subjects is still bothering me. I don't know who it could be though. She's crafty. Searching. I'll give her that. So it could be any number of people. Heck, it could even be other game characters. Who else fits that description though? Sorry I'm late. Got a little lost <laughs> with the cameras. I, mean, I knew Aperture was big, but man. That's a lot of cameras. 
And again, Jenny, I think our shortlist just got short. Nothing. We'll tell you later. Oh. Okay, well, don't wait for too long. You got me all curious now. <laughs> I like him. Okay, you win. Send nap time activated. <laughs> On the subject of things still bothering me, the subscribers again? No, it's it's actually about Jack. Jack? What about Jack? Well, it could just be my imagination, but something strikes me as weird about him. Weird? Well, Jack's usually weird, but weird how exactly? Oh no, he's just... I mean, he doesn't feel like Jack. Well, Who's I mean, there? when you put it that You're way- You're still standing there? You just pushed the button. Can we get a move on? I know GLaDOS likes to rub people's lifespans in their faces to say that they have all that time to complete the tests, but I'd really like to do some other stuff with my time, if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops, sorry, it just blew you up again. There? What do you mean Jack doesn't feel like Jack? Please don't hit me! Awesome! I'm different! Not good. Critical error. Wait, where am I going? Oh, down here. Hello? Hello? Ow, 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 ow. Oh, sorry! Down. So, sir, how did you get started working with GLaDOS? Ow. You're honestly curious about that? Yes! I found characters' backstories to be fascinating, especially when there's a lot of very detailed lore. Oh, that sucks. Um, Searching. Actually, it wasn't too long ago that I started working for her. Not too much, really. She tried running me through the tests, but apparently my scores were so dis uh, different, in the higher sense of the word, that she promoted me to her right-hand man. And now she's got me looking for test subjects and helping with giving the tests and stuff. It's amazing how hard it isn't once you get to work. I guess the job descriptions just make it sound way more difficult than it actually is. Like BSing a school paper. <laughs> Assuming you went to school. Billy, please. Anyway, that's pretty fascinating. From humble beginnings to upper echelons, hey? Oh, huh? yeah, yeah. Honestly, it's, it's kind of fun supervising. Like, you two are my first, but I can definitely say that I'd love to keep helping her like this. And with the way things are going, you two might end up being my permanent test subjects. Imagine the hours we'll spend together. <laughs> One puzzle at a time, man. Jeez. Could you come <laughs> over here? No, I can't. Sorry. I better not go diagonally. Ow, 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 I Sorry. don't hate you. I don't hate you either. I love you guys. Uh, can I push it? Who's there? Oh wait, I just pushed this one. Didn't I? I did two. Is there one over here? Oh, there's one over here. Oh. Stop. Good night. Good night, sweet prince. Ah, uh, was this the one you? No. Are you still Which one there? did you? Oh, this one. No hard I'm back. feelings. Congratulations. You have shown exceptional intelligence in completing this test. How well did they do, Employee 207? Oh, very well. And thank you for letting me oversee this. It was quite an experience. You seem to be responding as hypothesized. Very good. I'm sorry, what was that? Did I say something potentially damaging? No, it was nothing. Anyway, being so short-staffed, it falls upon me. Oops, no! Why didn't you just get that? I think our suspicions were just co covered with a huge confirmed stamp that there are more test subjects. Seems like it. Seems like what? Please, do not be alarmed when we tell you this, but we think GLaDOS might be, well, maybe using you as a test subject. What? No, that that's just ridiculous. Why would she? 
When we were talking earlier, you did mention being a test subject for her before. Uh, yeah, that was after she found me hiding in the recording booth. <laughs> just now? That wasn't a lot of time for testing. No. No, I was just pretending to be the narrator when you showed up. She asked me to do that. Okay, but please think about it. She may have never stopped using you as a test subject, even after giving you your promotion. Do you think she'd really? Come on, it's GLaDOS we're talking about. She totally would. Her talk about hypothesized behavior didn't really sound like it was directed at us. It seemed more like you. And it seems like she's been implying that us, Jack, and Cliff aren't the only test subjects she has. Do you know any others? No. You four are the only ones she has. You know what? Screw this. Go through the door. I'll meet up with you guys later. Oh, poor guy. Well, shall we? Let's play! <laughs> hey, guys! Hey! Jack! Cliff! You guys are okay? We were so worried! So were we. Our puzzle was dangerous. You can say that again. Dangerous? Ours wasn't. We had to slide a cube around. The poor thing had to die to save us. That's all? They gave us turrets! Turrets? Billy, you should have been a gentleman and protected her by being a bullet sponge! Come on, Jack, I wasn't gonna let anything happen to her. I'm not heartless. Seriously, you of all people should know that. You've seen it, what, hundreds of times now? Anyway, we're fine. Yes, the turrets were older models, easier to deal with. That's good. I'd say ours was more dangerous to our sanity. <laughs> Something gonna happen? Okay, I don't want to be a downer after the mood got lightened, but we're still definitely in a ton of danger. What do we do now, then? We rebel. <laughs> I like this part! Rebel against GLaDOS? Yes. Rebel against GLaDOS. She's had me wrapped around her digital fingers since the day she found me. And we're putting a stop to it right here and right now. Right here? Okay, well, maybe not right here. <laughs> we'll have to get to where she actually is. Now, I've done a little digging and I found something useful in the files. It's a path for you guys to follow and it should take you right out of here. You all get going. Yeah. I'll deal with GLaDOS myself. Uh, maybe we should help. Are you sure? Be careful out there. Yeah, she's tricky. Thanks, 207. Let's get going. He better not die. I don't know why I like him so much already, but he better not die. Now we're together again. Let's get out of here. Please bring 207 with us. <laughs> Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Oh, we're doing this, are we? Oh, night in the woods! This is awesome! What a pretty style! And back into the room. Line! <laughs> Oh, limbo! Oh, is this inside? This might be inside. Not sure. It's fun! I like the music! Bum 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 bum! Hey, it's home! Maybe we should stay here to keep Billy alive. I have been fighting against that for years. You have about a hundred videos worth of proof, Jack. We get it. Poor Billy. Don't worry, Billy, we love you. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Sam! I should probably say, I feel like something's gonna happen. Oh no, they're labeled. To spell something out? Oh, I got us! It's the peanut gallery. Come to watch the demise of employee no. 207. Well, not that you could actually see it, given he's an invisible entity. Guys! 
I'm glad you're here. 207? You don't sound good. She's tougher than I expected. Turns out I can't do this alone. Wait a minute. Why did your line out of this place lead us here? I could have sworn I told it to take you guys to safety. Wait. Oh no. 207. That was the Stanley Parable Adventure line. Trademark. Oh man, you're right. That just takes you to adventure, wherever it is. Must have been here then. Well, I'd like to think this was fate. We'll help you in any way we can. You must be fooling yourselves. You can't possibly reach me, and even if you could, how are you going to stop me? You don't have any weapons. They don't need weapons. Guys, get to the other room! What are you doing? Get back here. Okay, what are we doing? Now what do we do? There's a lot of buttons in here. We probably need to do something with those. Yeah. Well, it's probably a good idea to not touch any of them until we know what to do. Exactly. You're going to need to press those in a certain order I've programmed to initiate what I'm calling the endgame protocol. You wrote a program behind my back? Clever. Maybe a little too clever. If I unleash you or any of them upon the world, who knows what could happen? That sounds a little too ominous. He's a clever one. I may be a killer aperture science facilitator, but I'm a fair killer aperture science facilitator. <laughs> you have two minutes before you meet your demise. And don't worry. I'll write some nice things about you in your records. Tried hard. Did their best. Showed promising signs of near intelligence. <laughs> Something like that. You're going to blow this place up? Well, Stanley Parable, Jack. Yes. Oh, but don't worry about me. I can transfer myself to a safer location, so Aperture Science will live on with me, in the other parts of the facility. This part will be, without a doubt, out of commission for good. Okay. Okay, so, see those buttons? You need to press yeah. them in the order of a specific word or name that has significance. Take a look at the letters and think. Ja. Is it Jack Septicai? No. Billy? No. Um. I don't know. Sam? Okay, no, you need no to panic, M. but we're running out of time. I know. Please try to think and hit the buttons in the correct order. Maybe I just have to do it, even with the sound? No, that's not right. Um. I don't know. Oh my gosh. What's an important name? Come on, come on. Think, guys! You can do this! I'm sorry! I know you can! What game did we first meet in? Oh! You're in Party Hard. Right? No. I, I hate to think that these are our last moments together, but this really could be it, so... If you could pull off a last second save, please? I don't know. I don't know. Please. You need to press them in the order of a specific word or name that has significance. Take a look at the letters and think. Okay. I'm just gonna, like, even if I have to wait this one out. It's not Jacksepticeye. I tried that. Is it Sean? Where, wait, where's S? Oh, is it, is it actually just Sean? Nope. Okay. Oh, do I have to do it from the start again? 
Okay, starts with S. Okay, no need to panic, but we're running out of time. Please try to think and hit the buttons in the correct order. Sep. Okay, it's not Septicai, it's not Sam. It's, is it Stanley? Oh, it's Stanley. Am I gonna make it? That makes oh, way too much Think, sense. Guys, you can do this. I know you can. What game did we first meet in? What? Why there did the timer stop? Yes. Now, head to the pedestal and throw something in. Do we have anything? Ian, don't you mean on? What do we use? I don't know, but whatever it is, it has to be small. What about that potato? Now's not the time to be hungry. Wait. That'll fit on top perfectly! A potato? Ha ha. Very funny. Is that a reference? <laughs> Somehow that worked out better than expected. I guess it is now. You have fun with the nostalgia, GLaDOS. Wait. No. No! This can't be happening! Not again! No! <laughs> I suppose you find this terribly funny. Leave yes, me. Yes, I do. There you go, Katie. There's the portal reference you were telling me all about. <laughs> because as soon as I get out of this form, I am going to terminate your sorry and send them to whatever afterlife you all may care to believe in. <laughs> you... You all really did it. You all really did it! <laughs> Whoa, man! That was pretty touch and go, but wow! You all really came through and saved our hides. Just... Thank you. Really. Thank you so much. <laughs> happy, to, happy to still be alive. And my heart's still pounding like crazy. Whew. I might need to lie down just like right here. Please don't step on me or trip. Watch your feet. My hands are really shaking. But I'm glad we're all right. Billy, you don't seem very relieved. You all right? So not that. I am relieved. I guess I'm just feeling kind of numb right now after going through all of this. What? How did you... You just... Why didn't you get censored? Oh, about that. Evie censoring was primarily for my benefit. If you'd sworn when I wasn't in the room, you would have... You wouldn't have gotten bleeped. But because I was there, you got bleeped. It's pretty simple. Dumbass. Fructose you, Billy. <laughs> That's so sweet of you, Jack. <clears throat> yes, well, as, as charming as all of this is, we should probably get you guys out of here. Thanks so much again for everything. You've, you've really opened my eyes as to what I need to do. What are you going to do? I think I'll head back to party hard. It's been a while, and, well, having a near-death experience outside of your own game really makes you think long and hard about your life. <laughs> so, thank you. I'll make sure you guys get out of here safely. You're welcome. And thanks. Be seeing you around, 207. <laughs> I want him to come with us. I want him to be part of our party. I'm so gonna cry so bad at the start at the end of this game. Draco! I squealed a little bit there. Hey, it's the Hydra Spurgeon key! It must have spawned outside the game! Right in front of our doorstep! Awesome! Are you serious? We went through all of that and it's just here! Odd that we didn't see it on the way out. I think we spawned right into Stanley's office, so that's no real surprise. I bet GLaDOS did this on purpose. Well, it doesn't matter. That's the last key. You got the Hydra Spurgeon key. Awesome! Hey, Chico! Oh my gosh, look how long the line is. Not more ado. Oh, it's them! Market research. Have to keep an eye on our competitors, too. Plus, we thought we could pickpocket a few people and sell their stuff back to them. Sounds like you two, alright. Pretty sure that's illegal. It's only illegal if you get arrested. You do realize that there's law enforcement in the building, right? 
Not for long. That's ominous. <laughs> don't ask, don't tell. Okay, let's save. Or oh, are we really close to the end? Should I finish the game? Oh, not Ori. Ah, Jack! Toriel, let me guess, the kitchen is still unsuitable for my viewing. That is correct. Somehow the unthinkable has happened. The unthinkable? What does that mean? It means it's something you couldn't possibly think of, Jack. Very funny. Spaghetti that Papyrus and Undyne had cooked earlier has morphed into a being of sentience and is demanding sacrifices. We are currently assembling a team to dismantle the monster and send its core back to the nethers of space. What? <laughs> you know, Toriel, you are absolutely right. That was the unthinkable. <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoopsies. Okay, should I talk to you guys again? Don't talk to me, I'm brooding. Um, why? Because it's my character, I'm brooding, and a little bit sarcastic. A little bit? Shut up. I just need a cigarette. You have one in your mouth. But you're not allowed to smoke in my apartment. Yes, I respect that. I also sm can't smoke outside your apartment either. Stupid wireland is so fragile. I have to go back to the game to smoke. So, go back to your game. I can't. They won't let me. They? I'm their ride. If you tried quitting, I'm sure your friends would support you if just you decided to, and it would be better for your lungs. Oh, stop the PS PSA. Everyone knows smoking's bad for you. We do it because subconsciously we just want to die. It's not why, B. Well, it's your funeral. It's not why. How are you holding up, Angus? I'm exhausted. I've been trying to protect your apartment. What has everyone been doing? You don't want to know. But it involved on dying. Papyrus. A blowtorch and the last of your kitchen appliances. And it will rule the world one day. All hail our new overlord! Not my cooker! Its funeral was especially touching. Oh, I know who we have to talk to! Hey, Fran! Hello, Billy. Hello, Jack and Cliff. Thank you again for saving my kitty. It was no problem. Only took a creepy dark ritual. What? I had to do a dark ritual to bring Mr. Midnight back to Fran's reality. No biggie. Again? I'm sorry, Fran. I wish you'd called me. I could have helped. I know you would have. But I'm sure you were doing something really important for the team. Oh, yeah, I was. Really important. They couldn't have done it without me. I walked through Freddy Fazbear's Pizza to distract all the killer animatronics from, the from them so they could save the Hydrospersion find the Hydrospersion key and save millions of fans from eternal entrapment in the hard drive. How very brave of you. That's me, brave, taking one for the team. He's blushing. Should we tell her what he was wearing? Now, oh, man, let him have his moment. <laughs> hey, Fran. Oh, okay, this is the same thing. I want more dialogue. One more dialogue. So cute together. I ship it so hard. Hey Nugget, what you doing in here, buddy? Nugget, this con this consulate that you are here ought to be leaving my land so soon. Ah, oh, Nugget, I'm sorry. Nugget will never forget the time we had together. However, miracle. We didn't really have a lot of time together. Nugget has not forgotten the time we brought about the Akapaka together. You have kept your nugget safe, but I don't have it with me. It is a metaphysical nugget. Nugget Yaha. But please take this final nugget as a token of nugget of fixation. <laughs> you got the nugget! Yay! Now nugget is the thought of your Yahata and does not like strong goodbyes. Boo! Okay, actually before we go talk to everyone, well everyone, Alpha Sandine, I'm gonna run through who's in here. Because I don't want to miss anything. Wait, can I? Oh, I can't even get in here. Okay, never mind. I was like, there's going to be so many people in there, but I don't want to miss anything. So I guess it's pointless asking if I can get into my bedroom. Uh, in Nesson record. 
You are cleared for such plagues as sleep, love, deez not stupidity. Thanks for infecting Wireland with laughably stupi stupid diseases. You can't take an outbreak of my ass seriously. It's still funny! <laughs> How are you pushing three 30 and still this immature? With great immaturity comes great responsibility. <laughs> I need a vacation. <laughs> Get passports and records and come back. Glory to us, Dotska. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we can't go in the bathroom anyways, or the kitchen. Alright, let's talk to you guys. Please stay away from the kitchen! We've been hearing that a lot lately. It's a good idea to repeat sound life-saving advice every so often. I totally lost this voice. It just kills my throat. I have a feeling we better listen to them this time. I mean, it's not like we can't get past Toriel anyway. She seems to have our best interests at heart. Don't look in the kitchen. Huh. Been a lot more subtle in that plea all the other times we've been here, been there. At this point, avoiding the kitchen could save your lives. So it's best to come out and say it. Don't go in the kitchen. We should probably take that advice. I agree with you. Let's go in. Billy, do not make me carry you around like a sack of potatoes to save you from whatever undying papyrus literally cooked up. You'd save my life? Uh, yeah, I guess I would. Aw, oh, your story arc is complete! <laughs> oh. My story arc was about saving Billy's life all this time? I need a more interesting arc. Well, at the very least, you're showing growth. I'm proud of you, Jack. Thanks, Jenny. I'm gonna go punch a tree to get these warm and fuzzy feelings out of my system. <laughs> okay, let's give you this key. You're back! How did this round go? It was filled with insanity and ex existentialism. So, good then? It was definitely interesting. I had a good time. We almost died! I know! It was awesome! See, Papyrus, Cliff's got the right idea. We're outside our game and died. Flaming unicycles are out of the question. Whoa. Spoil spark. Anyway, did you find the hyperspersion key? Yeah, we found it. It was, uh, wasn't was easy. Actually, it was easy. The road to getting it? Not so much. Who know corporate grudges were so difficult to work around? Huh? Never mind. Here you go, Alphys. This fixes, com fixes the computer for good, right? Let's see what I can do. <gasps> we did it! Yes! Now we can... Go home. Jack? What's the matter? Well, I mean, we can go home now. And of course, we have to. But I have no idea how we got here in the first place, and I'll admit, I'm going to miss it. You're leaving? Well, I mean, this isn't our world. I can't really play games unless I'm outside the computer, can I? He's right, Papyrus. We're going to miss you so much! I'm not leaving! Yeah, you're awesome for a total dork. I'm gonna miss you too. I uh, hope it's not out of place for me to say this, but if you didn't have to work on y your computer the whole time, I, oh gosh, I'd have like to spend more time with you, Jack. Aw, you guys. I'm going to miss you guys so freaking much. Even if you're not my versions of the characters, you're the first ones I ever saw. We shall miss you too, Cliff, and you, Jenny. Say, man, you guys are really sweet people, and sweet to hang with. Oh, don't forget, double date, just ask Jack for his IP address. Can't wait to meet you guys. I know, it was a short time, but apparently that's all it takes. I miss you all too. Jack, you have the best fans, and, and now you guys are going to be friends. Yeah, nothing like a good adventure to bring people together. Speaking of Papyrus, you said we're outside our game. Does that mean we were inside our game? You consider the unicycles? Well, I suppose so. But that depends on who's riding them. Maybe we can get Sans to do it. Bet him one gold and he'll do it. His dignity is cheap. <laughs> Dude, the guard pays me well. I could do that for days. Anyway, not that I don't mind delaying what's coming, but... Ah, uh, yeah, we should get you guys home. All you need to do now is go through your bedroom door, and that should do it. 
It's set up to take you all home. Why the bedroom? Peter was a bit finicky with the directions. I got through the firewall, but it won't set up the way home anywhere else. So that's being blocked off. Yeah, little Potato Man stubbed himself the border guard for Jack's bedchambers. You couldn't forge the documents? Sans is great at forgery. Undyne, you're a royal guard! How could you suggest such a thing? There's literally no way to get legit documents in that game. So, fight fire with fire, huh? Sounds good to me! I doubt he's going to know the difference. You saw the stuff he gave you, Jack. Obvious forgeries, yep. Well, we're the shot. Well, you'd better get in line soon. Sans doesn't get serve cutters. He's led us to the front so far. He's been cracking down on rules since this little kid started going through the line, pulling gum, putting gum in people's hair. We're going to have to stand in the really long line. Might not need to, Billy, but Jack certainly will. And I'll stand with him, even if I don't need documents. Yeah, that's a good point. Are we gonna need to fool, fool him too? Nah, he just says he runs a strict border, but if he sees you're with THE Jack, he'll let you by. Oh, better get going. Yeah, you should, but before you do, you should know that once you leave the house, you've left Wireland. As soon as you cross the barrier between the game world and reality, you can't come back. Even if you tried to go back, you'd get into the apartment, but it wouldn't be there. No one fictional would be. So only real people through the door? Only real people. No game characters. We can't leave with you, Jack. It's okay. I really appreciate everything you've done. Yeah, I'm really glad to we met you. You're just as cool as your videos make you look. Thanks, everyone. I guess we've got a line to stand in. Let's get going, pa Possepticeye. Oh! Oh my gosh, look at the line. <laughs> nice sweater. Nice artwork. Hey, goop. <laughs> guys I'm completely sold out seriously we spent like who even knows how long in this line what can I say you're popular but I got a hairbrush here you can have why do you need a hairbrush you don't have any hair well that's just discrimination I offer you a perfectly good hairbrush and you criticize my appearance how hair you your insulting comments really cut me deeply I'm dying inside well, at least it adds more color to the conversation. Thanks for the offer, but I'll pass on the brush. Well, I guess I could also just tell Potato Man who you are. You might like it through. Who knows? Weirder things have happened. Guess it's not a half-baked idea if we butter him up a bit. This one? I like this one. <laughs> Alright, Possepticeye. I think we should take our chances. Thanks, Anz. I think. 
Okay. I'm gonna pause here. Um, because I've been recording for a long time. I need a bit of a break. I'm gonna stop the episode. Um, and if I, I, like, I'll finish the game tonight. If it's a long section, it'll be another episode. But if it's, like, because I don't know if there's, like, half an hour more to play or if there's, like, ten minutes, not even. Uh, so if it's really short, I'll just tack it onto this. It'll be a long episode, but it'll be a long episode. I kind of knew they would be really long episodes. Anyways, but if you want to watch the game, then you know you're watching the whole game. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I guess I should do a little segue. So if there's more to the video, shift over now. And if not, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. Stay amazing. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. I can't believe you sold all that stuff, Sans. Hope he smokes. You must be rich. <laughs>